students here from Sutton High who have been invited. I'd also like to welcome students from Black River Public School who are sitting back in our third row. We have lots of dignitaries here at the front, including an expert student panel who's going to help us to um, talk some more about the content that we have today. I'd also like to welcome, I'm not sure if uh, we can be heard right now, I think we can, but I'd also like to welcome students from Unionville High School. Unionville High School, if you can hear me, can you wave? There, there we go. Thank you very much. That's great. And I'd also like to welcome students from Keswick High School. Keswick, if you can hear me, can you wave? There you go. Excellent. That's great. That's good to hear. So we have uh, several segments to our day. Um, we are going to uh, be watching some films and taking a little processing break. Watching some more processing break. Watching some more processing break. Uh, do some nice serious work during those breaks. The whole day is going to last between now and uh, about noon, hopefully, if we can get that all done. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you the trustee for our area in the York Region District School Board, Nancy Elgin. Thank you, as you know, I'm Nancy Elgin, trustee for York Region Board, and I'm here to welcome you to this very exciting opportunity to share with Unionville, Keswick High School, and many other schools this uh, advanced broadband enhanced learning known as ABLE experience. It's also an experience in um, cooperation and communication between various parts of the board and the students whom otherwise you might be in contact with. And uh, I want to thank the York Region Family Services Prevention Division for bringing it up here because otherwise it wouldn't have been here. It would have gone to some other less important part of York Region and Georgina, which would have been a shame, right? And uh, this again is because the Prevention Division is all about having students interact, communicate, understand each other, and improve their skills. And I was reading a, a book the other day on computing, and it said, you know, Movie making is no longer a mystery skill that's only known to cinematographers. Movie making is now just like breathing and talking. Anyone can do it. And indeed, we're going to see today that anyone can do it. We can't all do it as well as each other, but it is a new way of communicating, expressing yourselves, learning. And I just am so excited to be here today and sharing with all you other guys who wave. Um, so thank you, and let's have fun. All right, I'll just to introduce the, the more of the process, we have an expert facilitator here with us today. Um, I had a chance to read her, her uh, resume last night when I was going over what we're going to do today, and her resume is extensive. The uh, amount of expertise that she has in this sort of activity and the interest she has in that activity, if I remember our meeting, you like. I forget what you said, change thought or change action. And that's her, her main uh, motivating factor. So without further ado, our facilitator is Hilary Van Welf. I'll speak into uh, Ted's chest. All right. Well, greetings, everybody. And, uh, and a thrill to be here. I just want to give you a little bit of background of what we're going to do today and how it's going to work. Uh, first of all, this whole event has been structured so that you can not only experience the films, but that you can reflect on them and allow the films to help you look at some areas of this, of this region, of yourselves, of your lives, of the world we live in in your region through some different eyes, through the lens of film, and through the lens of many different filmmakers. 
I've had a great opportunity to get involved in film. I co-founded Waste Films last year, and I don't know if any of you have seen Waste Films, www.wastefilms.ca. But it was a phenomenal experience of running a film school and a film festival to be able to allow kids between the ages of 14 and 19 to come and make films about things that matter to them. So, uh, and we went, we went for the quirky because that was what we were looking for. We were looking for, for ways of teens expressing themselves in ways that were natural to them, which for others may feel very uncomfortable. And uh, that's what we were looking for, discomfort. Uh, we got it in spades, and I'm here today to also look at how can we also create some more discomfort. Because change isn't easy. Change isn't about how do we do this so it's easy and fun and, 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 and smooth. It needs, to be, it needs to be fun, but it needs to be discomfort. Because once you know you're ready to change, you start to get the willies in your stomach, you start to think about things a bit differently, you start to go, oh, I didn't realize I thought that. That's what we're looking for today. How this is going to work is we're going to look at a series of blocks of films, and we're going to look at films that come from all around the region, and each school has selected a block. So our first off, we're going to be looking at a block of films from Keswick. Everybody in the three schools that are participating will be watching the films at the same time. At the end of that block, Keswick has a particular debrief activity that they're going to be engaging in, and we have the opportunity of, uh, of watching them debrief, as well as have our own thoughts and our own feelings, which is what the sticky notes are for. But we get to participate not only in looking at the films, but watching an, another group of, of, of students process those films and get their insights from them. We then move to enough, we then move to Unionville, where Unionville has selected a series of films. We all watch those films together. And then at the end of their films, we get the opportunity to yet again watch their type of debrief, how they're going to look, how they're processing the insights from the films. And then last but not least, we come to Sutton. And we watch all together the films that this school has selected. And then we go into our debrief here, and we will then merge that into an overall debrief of the entire experience. 